Uh, without further ado, let's get to Debate Morning in America. Greg Stucker, if you could, intro the music. Good morning, 1210 WPHT. I am Fake Tapper. I will be your moderator this morning in a historic first for the United States of America prior to Fox News, ABC News, or any other left-wing fake media outlet. You will hear your candidates this morning here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. As you can see on the left, the Republican nominee the 45th president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. And to the right, the current vice president of the United States, under the 46th administration of Joe Biden, your vice president and presumptive Democratic nominee, Vice President Kamala Harris. So here are the rules for this debate. We will not mute the mics because Joe Biden is not here, so we don't need to sanitize anything. This will be old school, a real battle. Please hold your applause till the end. Greg Stocker, Don Stenslin. <laughs> and we will have three different questions in which both contestants will have 60 seconds to answer. A fourth question dedicated directly to Madam Harris and a fifth question to Mr. Trump. Those are all 60 second time banks. We will not uh, adhere to that very strictly because as i said i am fake tapper and i am a total hack moderator <laughs> closing remarks each individual will have 90 seconds and it was determined during that 12 minute commercial break via <laughs> coin toss that ms harris you have won the coin toss so you will have the first crack here at question number one ms harris president biden has been in noticeable cognitive decline for at least the last few years how do you think this makes the country look on the world stage? You have 60 seconds. Look, you know, I have some cognitive decline myself, right? And, you know, I just know that Joe's heart is in the right place, right? I mean, he's not as strong. He's not as fast. And, you know, he might have a, you know, he might have a slow start to the day. He goes to bed early and sleeps most of the afternoon. But other than that, you know, he's sharp as a tack. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I just think that we have to give him a chance to really unburden what has been. Thank you very much, <laughs> Ms. Harris. Mr. President, Donald Trump, President Biden has been in noticeable cognitive decline for at least the last few years. How do you think, Mr. Trump, this makes the country look on the world stage? You have 60 seconds as well. Well, I have to say, fake strapper, I have to say you're doing an awful job already. Uh, <laughs> talking a lot. You're talking a lot. But I uh, don't want to talk too much about that. You know, you have Kamala Harris or Kamala, whatever the hell she calls herself. I call her something else, but we're not allowed to say it. Well, maybe we are allowed to say it. The original Hawk Tour girl. We'll talk about oh, it. Maybe we'll say it. Maybe she's trying to run and be President Tua. We'll see what happens. Uh, but you see what's going on right now. You that see what's going one, on. Doc. She's cackling and she's cackling and all crazy things are going on. We're looking at how do we think the country looks and how do we think the world looks and talks about our country. Uh, I think we look like a country that is having a hard time navigating a flight of stairs. Usually an easy thing for some people, not an easy thing for that person. And she's known all about it. You know, Kamala's known all about it. And she hid it. She covered it up. And we're not sure why she did that, but she covered it up. And horrible things are happening to our country under her watch. She's the border czar. I was the greatest border czar when I had the presidency. We had a beautiful wall. We had people. They weren't coming in. She's the border czar. All the bad hombres are coming in, and they're hurting people. They're hurting our country. And I know it's fake strapper. You don't like when I say this, but they're poisoning the lifeblood of our country, and we don't like that. We're going to fix it, believe me. Ms. Harris, question number two. Inflation is hurting everyday Americans more and more each day. VP Harris, what are your plans on addressing this ongoing problem? Well, you know, me and Joe, we're pretty much on the same agenda. Besides the fact that he just likes to eat ice cream and thinks that that's going to make everything okay. 
I do believe that we have to build back better, build back stronger, build back faster, right? I mean, because you know we're not going back. We're not we're not going back to a de- to a decent time. We want total chaos and destruction. Okay, I mean that's why I left the border open, right? <laughs> You know, you have to you have to stand firm with the distractions because clearly we've shown that we just want to build back. We want to build it better. We want to build it stronger. And, you know, like I said, we're not going to go back. We're going to continue to burden the people. All right. Because that's what we do. You know, that's what the Democratic Party does. We want to burden what has been. And, you know, I'm not really sure. If you know, but we've had the strongest economy, the strongest, the strongest. It's it's more bigly than Don's economy was. All right. I don't care fake what the news. numbers say. It's fake news. Now, it's not fake. It's not fake news. It's not fake news because guess what I discovered? If you laugh about it, it you know, it has to be true. <laughs> yeah, it's worked so far. So that's what I think. We need to build back stronger, better, faster. I don't have a plan for that, but that's what I want to do. <laughs> Enlightening stuff, Madam Harris. Thank you very much. Thank Question you. number thank you. two, you are welcome. Mr. President Donald Trump, inflation is hurting everyday Americans more and more each day. What are your plans on addressing this ongoing problem? Well, first, I just want to uh, pay homage to the former candidate. Look, here's the deal, okay? Uh, I want to talk about this inflation. You know what happens when you have Uh, more money chasing the same number or less amount of goods. And so that's why I am promising to carry out the largest deportation operation in the history of our great country. And by largest, I mean we're going to deport Chris Christie because he's eating everything. He's eating everybody out of house and home, and there is less available on the market because he keeps eating it or because he gets close and it gets stuck in his gravitational pull. It's going around and around like the moon goes around the earth, like... Uh, some of these people, we call it, a lot of people call it the view. I call it the zoo. These people orbit each other on live television. The cattle, the livestock, these are terrible people. Uh, But we're going to carry out the largest deportation operation in the history of our great country. We're getting rid of Chris Christie. He's going to stop eating BP. He's going to stop eating everything, and he's going to make the market plentiful with goods again. It's going to drive prices down. We're going to have... Uh, a lot more competition. So we're getting rid of Chris Christie and some of these other people too. You look at it, Stacey Abrams, we call her the beast of the Southeast. She's got the teeth, (laughs) she's got the cap. It's like Harrison Butker. She could kick the field goal right through the teeth. We have the zoo, we have all of these horrible people and we're going to get rid of them and we're going to have a fair and free market again. She talks about building back bigly, building back strongly, building back fast. (laughs) It's not going to happen. She says she has no plan. It's not going to happen, but I have a plan. We're going to make America great again, and we're going to do it very quick, very strong. We've done it before. We'll do it again, bigger and better and faster than ever. That much I can tell you. 